Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey. What's going on YouTube? Devin Lamar BM here with another quick video on how to automate your chat box and Twitch as you're gaming. The point of this video is for those viewers of mine who uh, were, were a little bit confused in regards to how I was gaming. My chat was actually, you know, spitting out a lot of goofy stuff at the same time. So it's pretty straightforward. I wanted to make this video for you guys. I know there's already a ton of videos out there for you, but again, this is really short and sweet and simple. Hope it helps. All you're simply going to do is open up your Google Chrome or whatever the case is. There's three different ones I'm going to show you guys. One being Nightbot. All right. I've already set all this good stuff up. So um, pretty much all you're going to do is you're going to log in. It's going to connect to your Twitch. Mine may jump straight in, in there since I've already done all this good stuff. Okay, let me refinish. There you go. So I've already logged in with Twitch. I already set it all up. And it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, once you log in with Twitch, you put in your credentials and it'll, it'll take you to your dashboard dashboard so uh this is nightbot uh you have your commands you can set up here you, either you can create custom ones or you can use the default ones giveaways um some logs in, in regards to what happened in, on your streams i like the song request here with auto dj and playlist this is how i uh, i make it to where people can uh, request songs from YouTube and all that good stuff. And I also have an auto DJ or I created my own play playlist just in case nobody uh, nobody chooses a song to play. Yeah, yeah. spam spam protection where you, you can uh, keep viewers from doing certain things in your chat. Timers, these are the these are the, uh, the, the automation basically that I have spitting out to you guys whenever I'm streaming. So every 15 or 10 minutes, uh, it'll spit out something like, hey, um, here's one right here. So for this one, for example, there has to be at least five lines in your chat box. And then every 10 minutes, they'll say, Hey, follow me on Twitter. I'll share your stream. And then boom. So, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I like Nightbot. I've, I've been using Nightbot for the most part. Another one I've been, I, I've ran across is stream elements. This is a newer one. Um, I like stream elements simply put because uh, you could actually create an overlay in regards to everything else. Um, it's, they're pretty much similar uh, stream elements in Twitch. Um, the only difference I've seen is, again, you can actually create an overlay using uh, stream elements. Also, stream elements, um, they send a little uh, uh, stats email to you in regards to your, your, your uh, most recent stream. Um, that's pretty cool. I don't think uh, Nightbot does that, but nevertheless, it, the only difference with stream elements is just like this, you can create your own overlays. And they even have things here. So if you guys don't know how to create a professional looking overlay, um, you can either reach out to someone like myself or you can come on websites such as this. Uh, Stream Elements has a lot of things for you. Um, so just to give you a general idea, here, here's your chat stats, activity feed, all that good stuff. You can set up tipping just like here. I set up my PayPal account so that uh, uh, whenever, you, whenever you do action one, they give you a tip or a donation. Uh, you, you can do it through Stream Elements as well. Uh, Stream Elements also has a song request. I actually have this disabled since I've used both of them in correlation. Um, so I usually, I actually use my Nightbot opposed to Stream Elements. Um, you even have a profile page, all that good stuff. Uh, I think the only difference between, well, one of the difference, differences between Nightbot and Stream, Stream Elements, um, there's modules here in Stream Elements so you can play little games with or even chat alerts. Um, for instance, if someone follows you, you can have stream elements send a message or in your chat box, uh, chat box saying uh, anything you want. For me, I have, hey, you're the real MVP user. Thanks for following. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, I like to have it pretty uh, simple or uh, uh, aimed towards, how, you know, how, you're, how you are in your, your general stream itself. So um, this is, like I said, stream elements is pretty cool. Um, I, I actually use Nightbot and Stream Elements both. I disable a few things on each of the applications so they don't run into each other. Okay. The last one I wanted to show you guys was Wisebot. Not a lot of people use Wisebot. Well, I think they do. I just, a lot of people don't don't like to use Wisebot simply put because of the application itself. I'm not really sure. Um, I've tried it out as well. Again, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna hit the connect with Twitch button and it'll set everything up for you. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna to go to my streaming panel, and it looks like there's a that this is actually they have a lot of different stuff going on here. Um, with this being a beta, yeah, yeah, this panel is in de uh, development. So uh, I actually don't use Wisebot as a moderator, as you can see. 
However, I do still have some things set or applied to it for it to work in my stream. Uh, so for example, if I opened up my, my desktop for my stream, let's go to my channel here, and I'm gonna go to my desktop, or my dashboard, right? And so, oh crap, I haven't streamed recently, so I can't show you what it does, but basically it gives me an uptime in regards to the stream itself every so often. So it's the notification uptime here. And I like this because instead of going back to my dashboard to, to see how long I've been uh, streaming, I can simply look at the Wisebot. The Wisebot is giving me my viewer count in addition to the uptime. So um, other than that, in the welcome messages, you know, every time someone comes to your stream, hey, welcome to the stream, so and so. Um, that's pretty much all I use in regards to Wisebot. Um, as you can see, this is also pretty similar to the other two I, I showed you, Stream Elements and Nightbot. But um, I think it's a preference in regards to what you guys really want to use at the end of the day. Like I said, I'll leave it up to you guys in regards to what you want to use. I just want to give you all a general idea of how you do this. How do you get your automate your chat to be automated in Twitch? This is exactly how you do it. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out in the long run, go ahead and send or subscribe to my channel. And, of course... If you would, share and like, or if you have any comments, go ahead and do so below. I'll be sure to comment back. As always, guys, I uh, appreciate you guys stopping by, and I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey.